Good evening, afternoon, or morning, as the case may be, in your part of the world. For those that don't know me, I'm Zen Archer. And if you're coming over here because you saw that this was attached to my video, that's good. I'm happy that you're here. You know, the, the question has come up many times here on YouTube about the commercialization, commercialization of YouTube. Um, in respect with should you sell your videos or should you not sell your videos or you know should you accept donations or shouldn't you accept, accept donations and and what does the community think and all that kind of thing and I've given you my opinion as far as PayPal buttons go and and told you that I have a PayPal button and that I work for a place that sells videos and and uh, um, these kind of videos as, as well as production videos but also um, I, I got to thinking to myself, and I was wondering, you know, I'm sure that YouTube intends you to be profitable by doing this. At least some of you to be profitable, so those of you who are talented and, and would like to do so. Um, it's certainly a feather in their cap when somebody like Brookers gets signed or, or you know, when some television pilot isn't put up and, uh, and so they put it out here and suddenly it's taken because they find out that there is an audience. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, and and so certainly there's an aspect of that. And they're, they're letting you know Paris Hilton come on and, and pay for a uh, um, for a dedicated page like we have, but a dedicated page. Uh, they've they've made uh, special pages for musicians, so you can tell people where your show's going to be and where your CDs can be bought. And because of that. I thought I would take a look around YouTube and see if I could find the answer that is seems to be so hard to find. I think I have. Now, there may be some of you who, who disagree, but I think this is going to be hard to disagree with. Um, YouTube, for those of you who don't know, used to have a blog that was very easy to get to. It's not so easy to get to anymore. They removed links and stuff like that, and it's harder to find. But I remembered reading something in the blog that, that related to selling videos. So I've taken a little bit of time, and I've gone through, uh, I've gone through, through YouTube documents and stuff, and I found it. And uh, I'd like to show that to you. Now, you will notice that right here, it's uh, under the director program. It says uh, that you will get uh, five or six different things as a director. You will get the director icon, which you will see. Let me see. That would be... I always forget which side it, it, it's on, but I believe it's over here. I could be wrong. It might be over there. But you will get the director icon. Um, you will also be able to customize your URL so that people can find you easily. Uh, that's number two. Number three, the ability to upload videos that are longer than ten minutes, so you can do your movie pro, your movie trailers, or whatever it is that you want to do with it. And then this is where where it gets interesting: customizable name and value fields for each of your videos. Now you'll notice that after that it says example price four dollars and twenty five cents or showtime nine p.m. PST. Why do they have a price, a video price in there if they never intended for you to sell your videos? Why is that there? This is created by YouTube. And you'll see, I will show you the permanent link so you can go there and read it yourself. Um, and the ability to attach a per video URL for your videos, which means if you have a video store set up at some place like I work for, and and you would like to do a trailer here, and then take people over to see the the full version or the unedited version, um, and and charge for that, that you're welcome to do that, and and you can put the URL for that video trailer there so that people can go over to your store and buy your video. It sounds to me like YouTube would would actually be happy that you were doing that. Now, of course, if you put your video up here on YouTube, it's going to be free to the entire public. Um, and that's okay. You know, 
um, it gives you some exposure, it gives you a chance to get noticed and, and recognized for your talents, whatever they might be. Um, in my comments uh, on my last video, the one that this is attached to, uh, somebody asked me, well, where do you draw the line? You know, do you just let anybody put a, a PayPal donation button up and, and, and milk the public? Yeah, you do. That's exactly what you do. And here's why. If a guy goes on here like, oh, I fell down and that funny and, you know, hey, by the way, put a dollar in my box. The YouTube public in general are going to go, you're an idiot, I'm not giving you anything. And they're not going to make any donations. He may have a PayPal account set up, but he's not going to get anything for it, simply because who would pay a dollar to see his buddy fall down? Although there will be salt. On the other hand, somebody who puts out, you know, religiously puts out content that is, that is worthwhile for whatever reason, be it that they're a musician or, or a philosopher or, you know, a preacher or, or you know, somebody who makes their living critiquing others, they could do that too. Now, I'm a person that believes in, in a good day's work for a good day's wage. I'm, I'm you know... I don't like beggars either. I think if you're able to work, you should work. I think if you're able to make a living, you should make a living. And somebody else pointed out that, you know, there's a difference between a panhandler and a street performer. A street performer goes out, and, and we've seen videos on here of uh, puppeteers and, and uh, street bands. They open up the guitar case, they take out the guitar, and they start playing. And, you know, anybody that walks by can listen to their music. And if you like what they did, and you want to support what they did, and you toss a couple, you know, a couple quarters or a dollar or two or five dollars, you toss it in their guitar case, and you go on your way, and you think, wow, you know, that made my day a lot better, and I'm really glad to see those guys out there, and I hope they're there tomorrow. What's wrong with that? You know, that's the entrepreneurial spirit. Now, let's say that, that we just say nobody can put up those buttons, you know, it's just, it's against the community standard, and we don't want it, and nobody can put them up. But aren't you cutting off your nose to spite your face? Because if I come out here and, and, and put out you know, decent content that people want to watch and see and, and participate in and donate to, if I do that, and you say I can't put up a PayPal button to allow people to support me in what I do, well, then that also means that when you get that, you know, that really cool show going that you that you really think might be commercial, you know, and, and, and boy, you wish you had a better camera and, and stuff because you could really do something with it. You're on your own. Why not let your hobby pay for itself? Why not let, let those people, allow those people who would like to give you some support in what you're doing, do that. It's their own individual choice. Why not let them do it? You see, I believe YouTube does want you to be to 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 be profitable, and and they want to see good content out here, and they want to see the talent that people like me and 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 others you know, have whatever that talent is, if it's just talking, if it's playing a musical instrument, if it's, you know, trying to make the world a better place, if it's, um, you know, doing a little story or a poem, I think that, that they're behind you and I in our endeavors to do something with this. We're going through growing pains. Everybody's trying to figure out what it is. Well, right now, What's important to most people out here on YouTube is that they get their videos seen. To what end? Isn't that just isn't that just an ego thing? Isn't it all about like, oh, people like me, they really like me. Well, that and a dollar ninety eight will get you a cup of coffee. But if people like you enough to support you, why shouldn't you allow them to do that? And that was my point. Does uh, YouTube want you to be profitable? Do they want you to be successful? I believe this.
is proof that they do. And I congratulate them on that because they're not just giving you an opportunity to network with people and to talk to people. They're giving you an opportunity to do something with it. And this moral outrage about how that's just panhandling, in my opinion, is just plain ridiculous. If a panhandler wants to put a, a donation button up, let them. And you know what will happen? The same thing that happens on any street corner. He'll get a couple quarters. But that's about it. So, there's a little extra something from me on the situation and on the subject. Until next time, you be well. This is Zen Archer.